Hi there, it's Nick Pereira here. I am a physiotherapist and Stellenbosch graduate from 2012. I'm based in KZN and I run a physiotherapy practice which brands ourselves as Enhanced Physio. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Um, I was asked to kind of chat a little bit about how the global pandemic is affecting my life as a physio. Um, so let me just give you a bit of background on me. I own and operate this practice and we are a team of four physios working from three different sites. So just about myself, I manage um, physiotherapy at, at a boys high school. I manage a team of physios at the professional football club and look after rehab. And um, I manage the practice or our bigger sort of um, public practice, uh, which is closer to the center of, of Peter Maritzburg. I'm really passionate about sports and exercise. And since, uh, since graduating, I've worked in professional sport. Um, that's football and hockey at different levels. I have recently also completed my master's degree in sports and exercise physio. Unfortunately, not through Stellenbosch, through the University of Cape Town. Um, and that's kind of the, the bread and butter of my, of my practice, looking after sports and orthopedic cases. This sort of winter part of the year for us, second quarter and third quarter of the year, is generally some of our busiest times, just because our professional football season is ending, but at the same time our school sports season is picking up um, to kind of reaching its, its maximum capacity. Saturdays are generally super busy for everybody in the practice, um, either traveling for matches and the Monday to Friday is really busy either with seeing our school patients um, in the afternoon or the general public from a, on a Monday to Friday. Obviously that's changed a little bit at the moment with the whole COVID-19 and global pandemic that we're facing. So our work life has, has kind of changed a little bit and we've had to adapt and improvise to, to try to make it through these very weird and challenging times for the world. So a typical day for me right now looks like um, getting up and doing a little bit of my own exercise during the six to nine um, window that we have. From there, I'll generally go to our office at um, the site that I manage and see a few clients there. Um, generally, I also do some home visits at the moment just because um, we've got a little bit more time on our hands. We're not as busy as we usually would be um, if we were in full swing. So I'm driving to clients' homes. We're doing rehab, physio um, in the comfort of people's own homes as well. And then um, generally I'll hop onto Zoom or Skype in the afternoons and do some what we call telemedicine, basically um, supervising rehab or doing rehab, structuring rehab programs uh, through online consults. So that's kind of what a typical day for me looks like at the moment. We've also uh, used the time to try and ramp up our media and content a little bit. Something else that I kind of do a handful of times in a week is I'll go down to our main practice and we'll do some filming there, get some footage of our clients being treated. Um, we're doing some educational stuff on our YouTube. So there's a video that we released last week about sleep. Um, we're also doing some stuff in mental health. So I think it's a mixture of trying to keep going with, um, with what we can at the moment, being hopeful that things will eventually uh, resume and get back to normal. And we know they will, sport will eventually come back on. Um, it's just a waiting game. But in the meantime, we're trying to use our time productively. We're trying to um, adapt and innovate and kind of um, give ourselves some new tools that hopefully will stand us in really good stead when we eventually come out of this and um, start operating kind of as normal. So yeah, that's kind of what a, a day in the life is looking like during the global pandemic for, for my practice.